The government's group of scientific advisers called for an immediate circuit breaker to stop the spread of the virus last month, new documents show. On the 21st of September, the Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies, or SAGE, advised ministers to instigate a short lockdown of two to three weeks in England to act as a way to stop infections from getting out of control. Instead, Boris Johnson announced a new tier system to regulate local lockdowns across the country on Monday. So we can squash this virus wherever it appears, we are today simplifying, standardising and in some places toughening local rules in England by introducing three levels of Covid alert. The scientists suggested that all pubs, restaurants, gyms and hairdressers were closed, households were banned from mixing, and universities and colleges were to teach courses online. At the time, the only policy adopted by the government was to tell those who could work from home to do so. Sage also said that several so-called temporary lockdowns may be required to delay the spread of the virus. The Chief Medical Officer, Chris Whitty, at the same press conference with the Prime Minister on Monday, also voiced concerns that the tier system didn't go far enough. I am not confident, and nor is anybody confident, that the tier three uh, proposals for the highest rates, uh, if we did the absolute base case and nothing more, would be enough to get on top of it. And that is why there's a lot of flexibility in the tier three level for local authorities guided by uh, the directors of public health, who are absolutely superb around the country, uh, to actually go up that uh, range. However, Downing Street have defended their decision to stick with the tier system, saying that they must balance risks against the economy and other devastating impacts from lockdowns, including increased mental health problems and delayed operations. Some Conservative MPs have criticised the government for going too far with the new restrictions, which they say will have little effect on the spread of the disease and are disastrous for the economy and people's lives.